Hello, my name is Yuan Raju Anarakita Raju. Student ID 03123068. Uh, this is a mini project for Python programming. Okay, so the project right now is regarding uh, mathematics student calculator. Okay, just an introduction of for the uh, this particular project. Uh, mathematics is a fundamental subject that lays the groundwork for various discipline and real-world application. In educational settings, students often encounter mathematical concepts that require manual calculation, which can be time-consuming and prone to errors. To alleviate these challenges, the development of a user-friendly calculator tailored for uh, students can significantly enhance their learning experience and computational efficiency. A problem statement for this particular project. Okay, traditional method of solving mathematical problems such as Pythag Pythagorean theorem calculations, quadratic equations, and basic statistics often involves manual computation, which can be tedious and error-prone. Additionally, students may struggle to grasp com complex mathematical concepts due to lack of accessible tools that facilitate their understanding. Thus, there exists a need for a simple yet comprehensive calculator specifically designed for students to perform their calculation accurately and efficiently. For the objective, the primary objective of this project is to develop a user-friendly calculator to address the computational needs of students across various mathematical domains by integrating essential mathematical formulas and functionalities. The calculator aims to provide students with a convenient tool for solving common mathematical problems encountered in the academic uh, curricula. Additionally, the calculator seeks to enhance students' understanding of mathematical concepts by providing step-by-step -step solution and clear explanation of each calculation. Okay, the features which is inside this particular pro uh, project. Okay, uh, for the pro uh, for the proposed calculator will include the following features. Okay, Pythagorean theorem calculator. This features allow students to calculate the length, height, and the hypotenuse of the right triangle based on the known side length. Users can input the known side length and choose which side to calculate, providing them with the flexibility to solve different types of problems efficiently. Quadratic calculator. Students can input the coefficients of the quadratic equation, and the calculator will provide the solution for the for the equation, including real and complex root if applicable. This features enable students to solve quadratic equation quicker and accurately, facilitating their, their understanding of quadratic functions and their graphical representation. Probability and stat statistic calculator. With this feature, students can perform basic stat statistical calculation, including mean, median, standard deviation, and variance. User can input a data set of value and the calculator will capture the desired statistic measure measures, providing students with valuable insight into data analytics and interpretation. Let's go to a scenario. In a typical classroom scenario, a student can often encounter mathematical pro problems spanning various domains, including geometry, algebra, and statistics. However, the traditional approach is manually computing. Computation can be time-consuming 
and error prone, hindering students' learning progress. As a result, students may struggle to grasp the complex mathematical concepts and become disengaged from the learning process. To address these challenges, the development of a specialized calculator tailored for students emerges as a solution. This calculator offers a user-friendly interface with features such as Pythagoras theorem, theorem calculator, calculation, quadratic equation solving, and basic uh, statistics computation. In this scenario, students can efficient, efficiently perform mathematical computation, visualize problem-solving steps, and gain a deep understanding of mathematical concept. By integrating technologies into learning environment, educators can enhance student enhanced engagement, promote active learning, and facilitate a more effective learning experience in mathematics. Okay, uh, in the conclusion, the development of a specialized calculator for students represents a significant advancement in enhancing mathematical learning experience by providing a user-friendly interface and incorporation essential mathematical functionalities such as Pythagorean theorem, calculation, quadratic equation solving and basic statistic computation the calculator address the challenges associated with the manual computation in education setting through the utilization of technology students can efficiently perform mathematical tasks visualize problem solving process and deepen their understanding of mathematical concept moreover the calculator promotes active learning foster student engagement and empowers learn learners to explore mathematical concept with confidence. As educators continue to integrate technologies into the classroom environment, the implementation of specialized calculator emerges as a valuable tool for facilitating effective mathematics instruction. Overall, the development of this calculator signifies a step towards providing mathematic learning outcomes and preparing students for success in academics and real-world contexts. Okay. Let's see the flowchart. Okay, so this, are, this is the flowchart for this particular program. Quite a lot of it. Let's run the program. Okay. <coughs> so user will be prompt with a menu where they can enter either the Pythagorean theorem or quadratic to uh whether the which e formulas they, they want which equation they want to be solved so if uh, assuming let's say a Pythagorean theorem they enter option one okay so uh, option one will allow them to uh, ask uh, which side they want to uh, uh, to 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 find okay 
So is it the length or the height or is it the hypotenuse? Okay. Assuming, uh, let's say they want the hypotenuse, they can enter number three, and then press enter. So uh, so side uh, one side that means either the height or the length. So let's assume this is four. Okay, this can be either uh, a unit or it can be a cm or it can be meters the unit of measurement doesn't matter uh, they can just enter the value only so students are uh, just uh, need to enter the value for for them to calculate okay so uh, we have to make sure that the student enters all in a standard value so if it's a cm so the length and the height and the hypotenuse should be in a cm if let's say they are entering in unit so they can just uh, enter all of them in unit okay so uh, assuming that uh, this is just a unit okay so for uh, the other side will be three okay so the length of hypotenuse will be five okay so uh, it's similarly if let's say uh, you know the length okay uh, and the hypotenuse but you need to find uh, what is the height okay so uh, let's choose option one again for particular theorem so I want the length okay uh, either length or height so if let's say uh, I have uh, entered the length or the height first which is uh, let's say I choose option uh, either 3 or 4 so here I enter 3 okay so the hypotenuse 5 so it will say the length side uh, the length side will be either 4 okay okay so the length uh, of the side that means either is length for the uh, uh, if let's say length or its height it depends on on, on the user okay uh, if let's say the user enters any other uh, value okay uh, let's say the user enters uh, 6 okay uh, is it will show invalid choice and it will ask to enter between one to four. Okay, so let's go to quadratic. So let's say enter quadratic. So uh, based on quadratic, we know that uh, 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 the coefficient values, which is uh, the x power of two, uh, the x, and also the constant. Uh, which is represented by A, B, and C. Uh, the user need to enter uh, what is the A value. So assuming like this one is one, okay, and this one is uh, let's say uh, negative four, okay, and then uh, the constant let's say uh, it is. Uh, for also for positive so it will tell you uh, since quadratic there's supposed to be two values of uh, uh, for x so here at x1 is 2 and x2 is 2 also okay So, um, let's go to uh, probability statistics. So, if probability statistics, we need to know uh, what is the data set size is supposed to be. Okay. So, assuming, let's say, the user enters 5. Okay. So, uh, you will prompt the user to enter all the 5 values. Okay. So, uh, I'll just enter in a random number. 
and then d5 again okay so uh, now I'll be uh, shown an uh, option whether uh, what is the mean, median and the standard deviation and variance okay so if let's say I want to know what is the mean I just enter 1 it will show me what the mean is is 35.4 okay so if let's say I want to know what is the median I enter 2 it will show me the median is 35 so which is why it, uh, the 35 is repeating twice okay then if let's say I want to enter a standard uh, uh, I want to know what the standard deviation is so I enter standard deviation uh, let's say 3 okay so I'll know what is the standard deviation and then if let's say I want to know what the variance is I can just enter 4 and I'll know what the variance is okay so uh, if let's say I want to go back to the main menu just press 5 I'll be going back to the main menu so if I enter 4, you will just exit the program. Okay, so so far, uh, that is my presentation on uh, the project. Thank you.